What's up, my beautiful shooters? So we got our EDCs. We go to the range. We take a few drills. Some of us from different backgrounds. Some from the hood. Some from the streets. There is a difference. Some from, you know, upper society. We train. But how do you train? Can you put your... Can you hit your mark? Can you hit the broad side of a barn, as the old folks would say? Nah, questions though, man. How do y'all train? I got a question for you. Have you ever trained, say, from being on the ground? Because, you know, most attacks in a true self-defense, you're going to be in pretty awkward positions in most cases. You know, especially if you check your local laws. You know, we shoot out. 40, 50, 60 yards. You want to stay within 20 feet, remember. In most cases. If you want a self-defense, it's not going to be questioned by some DA somewhere. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I don't want to rabbit trail. My boy Glizzy. Somebody was making a comment about him being hood. But he goes out and trains. He practices. He practices different scenarios. Do you do that? Do you go out and shoot? You get used to the bang because if you do your studies, a lot of your misses are because of that bang. You know, we put on our little ear protection and our eye protection, you know, and all that. But do you practice for real world scenarios? Have you ever had somebody stand behind you in the opposite direction and fire while you're firing so you get used to that bang so you don't have that flinch? Because that flinch could make all the difference in the, between life and death. Have you ever trained with maybe getting something in your eye, you know, or... or recreating being hit, being dazed, and then having to draw and fire. Do you know your local self-defense gun laws? Do you know what ammunition you should be using so you go, don't go past the target that you're shooting at? You know, these are questions for beginner shooters and people who've been shooting a while. You know, I got one for you. I've been training, breaking in a new 1911-45 ACP. My everyday carry is a 9mm. I've not shot it in a couple of weeks. So when I pulled my 9mm and started doing some drills with this the other day, I was a little bit off on some of my marks. Practice. Practice like your life depends on it because it does. And don't think that in that time when it comes, you're just automatically going to know what you're doing because you're not. Trust me, I've been there. In a split second, I went from a normal everyday being behind a cash register to fighting for my life and a four-year-old child that I was laying on top of. I know what I'm talking about. That adrenaline. You guys be blessed.